Hello traders, Ali Peters at 1.45 EST on June 13th. This is 15 minutes before FOMC, the most important financial news in US. We have no idea what the news will be. What do we know? We know Fibonacci levels. So let's take a look at Fibonacci levels, the only natural predictive tool in the markets and see what Fibonacci tells us before most important event in 14 minutes. This Fibonacci levels that you use for your day trading entries on any chart you use to trade. This is crucial Fibonacci resistance present in the room since last week, remaining a brick wall for the last three days. This is not the place to buy into. No matter how bullish news is, no matter how unchanged rate is, this is not the place to buy. This is crucial Fibonacci support. This is the place to buy from. This is where flawless bullish points of entry played out yesterday. At this support, we will be monitoring for long. What would be even better? If price will crash through this support the first few minutes after the announcement until reversal zone, it would be such a gift. However, this support is first. At support bias is bullish. At resistance bias is bearish. Please allow price to settle down a few minutes after news release. Please remember, respecting news due to volatility is the key to your success. Entering into news never an option. Price still plenty of space to the upside until reversal zone, but this resistance a major obstacle. Entry into it not an option. This support very powerful bullish point of entry. Lower support is even better. So, bias at resistance is bearish, bias at support is bullish. This is what we're monitoring at the time of FOMC. If price will skyrocket to this level, reversal zone, bias firmly bearish. Price collapsing to here, we're monitoring for long. So, at the time of FOMC release, I will convert this chart to one minute chart so you can witness the accuracy of the method in live markets that applies to any instrument and any time frame on one minute chart. In the meantime, let's review institutional charts. Charts are used when I work with hedge fund managers who are in the course currently as hedge funds holding positions for long term. If you are a day trader, you are utilizing long-term charts if you want to trade with institutions, which is a brilliant thing to do. Because if you want to trade with institutional volume, you are paying attention to these two charts daily. This is the chart that's been present in front of you since last year. What is the daily chart showing to us? Bullish rally overextended. This is not the place to buy. There is tiny bit left for price to crawl up to, but for day trader, this is very dangerous place to buy. This is where price sold off in March. This is the reason I named this area reversal zone. Price collapses from reversal zone 80 plus percent of the time when we are dealing with ranging markets. If price collapsing to this support, it's a gift. Bias is bullish. If you are taking a look on this chart, if you're a position trader, if you're an options trader, and you're holding position for a couple of days, for a couple of weeks, you're using daily. Take a look at the accuracy of the method. This is a major short from reversal zone present in the room at the end of January, when we witnessed the biggest sell-off in years. As expected, as this is Fibonacci reversal zone, ultimate resistance. 
This sell off reached Fibonacci reversal zone ultimate trend inception. And again, price skyrocketed from here to here reversal zone. This is a dance on institutional charts. Last time around when price stepped in from this reversal zone, price could not break through. Ultimate Fibonacci resistance, end of minor trend. So this is a bullish rally that's currently overextended. Beautiful thing will be bearish news. Overextended bullish rally is very dangerous place to buy. Shorts and rate increase will be a gift for day trader. Here is the most important institutional chart. Before we go to weekly, I want to show you a long-term chart and remind you what's been present in the trading room for years. Those of you who arrived late, we will do recap once again and again. This is correction of 2016. Does everybody remember 1800 number? Do you see in front of you 2800 number? This is a chart present in the room since 2011. This is key support, 1800. Monthly, way too long of a chart. If you're paying attention to institutional volume, pay attention to weekly. This is what happened on weekly at 1800 number. Ultimate reminder. Trend inception on weekly, 1800 number. Price reached the end of the minor trend, 2200 number. Do you see this? The end of the minor trend is a problem. What did price do next? Struggled for six months before it continued further up to 2300. This is weekly now. Look at that. Price struggled at 2200 for six months. After this, bullish rally went on. As spelled out on monthly, as spelled out on weekly in advance. 2300 next, and here we go. Massive bearish correction, bullish crawl is on. So, you want to trade with institutions and not against them? There is still wiggle room to the upside on weekly. For day trader, it is extremely dangerous place to buy. Overextended bullish rally is exact same thing you will be witnessing on one minute chart as you're witnessing on your long term investment charts. If you want to trade with institutional volume, you always adding these charts to your decision making process. So, overextended bullish rally on weekly, overextended bullish rally on daily. A bit of a space left to the upside on your day trading chart. But this is a major problem. Buying into this resistance not an option. Monitoring for a pullback is a key. Price collapsing to the support, monitor for long. We don't care if rate will be increased or not, as we know extremely well. If trading on the news worked, everyone would be Bill Gates. The only thing that works is price action and Fibonacci, as Fibonacci is the only natural predictive tool in the market. Nothing else will ever give you this much accuracy. So, monitoring for FOMC, four minutes before the news. Again, allow markets to settle down. First few minutes, no matter how flawless the structure is, do not touch the market. Also, please remember, Especially during the most volatile news event in US, your execution will be tested to the core, as well as your knowledge. Stop limit orders only. Bracket orders that's appropriate for your account and your risk management. 
Before I ever bring up the trade to the trading room, I do my absolutely best to discuss everything with my students, students in different room. So extreme caution traders, you will see the biggest volatility in the markets in three minutes from now. Buckle up. I am converting this chart as promised to one minute chart. So you can witness the accuracy of method to the tick. Again, pull at the market order during the most volatile event of the month is the most dangerous thing you can ever do in trading when every single tick matters. So, FOMC decision in three minutes. Buckle up. Very bearish news traders target range had been raised. It is expected, however, market does not like raised rate. So here we go. Fibonacci support present in front of you. Supports have been present in the trading room since last week in a play in front of you right now on one minute chart. This is where a knowledgeable trader monitoring for bullish point of entry. Everyone clear on this? How did we know that this support will be respected? Simple. Fibonacci said so. Very sharp instant market move. Extremely volatile, extremely dangerous move. Cannot touch market yet. As I said before, FOMC. Allow price to settle down. And then monitor for bullish point of entry. At least few more minutes. So while we're waiting for S&P response at key decision point one, I would like to remind you what played out on Tesla. Chart present in the trading room for years. Identical strategy, identical formula, identical support. Buyers stepped in. This is crucial moment on S&P. Rules are met. Take a trade. We've been stuck in this channel for previous three days. Again, FOMC news extremely bearish. Absolutely no bullish trades like yesterday. Not yet. None are present. Price is crashing through. Testing you for knowledge of the rules. Pure price for entry and Fibonacci for exits. That's all that matters. Key moment on S&P. Again, ideally, would like to see buyers step in next. As you saw, bullish pullback prior did not mean a thing. It was meaningless. No rules had been met for long. None are present. So is anyone surprised Fibonacci support respects it exact same way as on Tesla? Do you know the rules? If you do, place a trade. Exact same thing is played out on Apple. Just to remind you. Did we expect bullish pullback on S&P one minute chart as you're seeing on Apple Weekly? Of course, Fibonacci said so. So listen carefully, please. While we're monitoring for a point of entry, again, as expected, Fibonacci support had been respected. As expected, this is not the place to short into. So if I convert this chart to five minute chart, accuracy remains the same. Fibonacci support and Fibonacci resistance, your channel right now, present in the room since last week. Rules are met, take a trade. Buyers are trying, but it's only bullish correction. Nothing meaningful yet. Rules are met, take a trade. Five, six, seven, eleven trades can be present in front of me at the same time. When market has such volatile formations, I will bring to the trading room one trade. So far still, only bullish correction. However, support respected. There is promise, but no trade yet. No matter what chart you trade. And again, this been the dance this morning. And this entire week on S&P. As I warned you, no matter how bearish the news is, rate increased doesn't mean a thing. Fibonacci support respected as expected, as on Apple, as on Tesla. It'll be so lovely if price will do exact same thing as Apple and Tesla had done. What is the difference? This is your investment decisions on Apple. 
to remind you as posted on YouTube channel as posted on my blog. This was Apple in this channel before earnings in April. This is Apple after earnings. Looks familiar? Support respected. Rules are met. Take a trade. So let's keep our fingers crossed. S&P will do exact same thing. Let's keep our fingers crossed. Tesla will do exact same. S&P will do exact same thing as Tesla. There is a potential. So here's a reminder about Tesla. Do you remember Tesla at 255 at key Fibonacci support? Again, this chart been present in the trading room for years. Support respected. It doesn't matter that Tesla is laying off thousands of employees. This is Tesla today. Looks familiar? 255 respected. This is bullish rally on Tesla. So keep your fingers crossed, S&P will do exact same thing as S&P in exact same place. That's all there is. Pure price for entry and Fibonacci for exits. Nothing less, nothing more. Identical strategies apply to any instrument, any time frame, any platform. All we have to do, wait for the rules to be met. So again, this was similar case scenario on Euro. Everyone is seeing this. So if S&P is crashing through the support, it's going to do exact same thing as Euro had done. Euro been dancing in this channel for six months. So if S&P is crashing through the support, it's not a good news for day trader. Shorting near the support is not something you want to do. This is where Euro is now. Exact same level as was key resistance right now, key resistance on Euro. So here is S&P again, frozen near the support. Identical levels, identical depths, as on Apple, as on Euro, as on Tesla. Good thing for day trader if buyers step in. If market will start crashing, this is extremely dangerous place to short. Shorting near support never produces good results. Buying near support is a wise thing to do. No buyers are present, only bullish correction. Again, we've been frozen in massive chop since FOMC release at this support, as I warned you. Well before FOMC, as I warned you since last week, this is not the place to short near, ever. This is exactly the reason it is bright pink line. Bright pink line is ultimate reminder. Never disrespect this level and always and forever remember, this is ultimate Fibonacci support. Ultimate test of your knowledge since FOMC. Ultimate reminder, only Fibonacci will keep you out of trouble. Ultimate corrective dance, ultimate chop, back and forth, as expected. Ultimate reminder, never short into Fibonacci support. Buyers remain extremely weak. So again, we've been here for an hour. Price reminding you. Only Fibonacci will give you this much accuracy. Price is frozen at Fibonacci support in massive bullish correction. Horrific news. Rates are raised. Announcement. Rates will be raised for more time. 2018. Buyers are stepping in. Do you know the rules for your point of entry? If you do, place a trade. Stop limit bracket only. Stop limit bracket order that's appropriate for you and your account size only. Stop limit order 2787.75. Not market, not limit. Stop limit. Stop 27.84. Again, every single chart I dissect and bring up on one minute chart on purpose. Take a look. If your trade is placed correctly, trade is not executed. Stop limit order, you are telling market. I want my trade only at this number, not a tick sooner. Stop precise. This 
level is not touched to the tick, no tree displaced. This is a range now. Key moment on S&P. How you place your trades, especially in such dangerous market conditions, are absolutely crucial to your success. Your trade placement in day trading is at least 50% of your success. Again, not limit, not market. Stop limit, you are telling market. To one tick, I want my trade at this number only. When you are placing your trade correctly with bracket order, you have your stop placed your entry placed as soon as trade is entered you are adjusting your targets and scale out according to your risk management and your account size here we go one tick only if you operate as a sniper you will succeed in trading not a tick sooner stop limit not touched yet one tick only now What is extremely crucial place on S&P next? 2788 and a quarter remains very big problem area. Knowledgeable trader knows that. Exact same place on S&P is a problem has been on Apple. On Apple it's been a year of war zone. Do you remember what's been at Tesla? Three months war zone between this support and this resistance. And this is S&P one minute chart now. It's a problem. It was expected. We will recap what played out prior again. As I warned you, this was not the place too short into. As we discussed with students, we expected this to be a very big problem area. It had been a very big problem area. We expecting this area to be out and priced to skyrocket. Crawl is on. Once again, you witnessed it doesn't matter how horrific the news is, how much rates are increased. Adjust your stop outside of break even and respect this as your key target. How many points are you up? Did you manage to pull two points out of this market? Essential to move your stop outside of break even and respect this as your key target. Right now, price can collapse completely. Every single tick in day trading matters. In the course, you learn the rules. In the course, you remember and trade alongside of hedge fund managers. Clear on that? We stayed out through junk. We stayed out through fluff. We stayed out through one of the worst FOMCs on record. Enjoy the ride. Massive number of trades in front of me. Students trading range charts, tick charts. Are you surprised reversal zone is reached and a problem? Of course it is. That's the reason I named this level reversal zone. What you're witnessing in front of you is 10 years of work with Fibonacci. What you're witnessing in front of you is the reason hedge fund managers alongside beginner traders taking a course. So when we are in Fibonacci Trading Bootcamp on July 9th through 20th, we will be learning and mastering Fibonacci strategies that apply to any instrument, any time frame, any platform in live markets. And that's a key. Second target is reached. Clear on that? Knowledge is power. Never ignore that. Never be a follower. Remember, if you're joining us in Fibonacci Mastery Course during the most powerful event of the year, Fibonacci Trading Bootcamp included in the course fee for new students only. New students who are signing up for June and July Fibonacci Mastery Course have Bootcamp included in the course fee. So, any questions, do not hesitate to ask. I'm closing the room next. I'm off to mentoring session.
So if you come into the website, please review the information under Learn, all the information about course under Learn, all the information about bootcamp under Learn. Again, this is bootcamp number two this year. I have zero plans for another bootcamp this year. We're down to nine spaces, only 20 spaces in bootcamp. Bootcamp at no cost to new students included in Fibonacci Mastery course. Course eight weeks, bootcamp two weeks, part of the course. When we are in a bootcamp, I test you to the core of price section and Fibonacci every single second we are in the markets on average three hours per day. You learn strategy ranges that's not part of the course and you're learning basic strategies that are part of the course. You, If you're a day trader, investor, position trader, option trader, stock trader, you're welcome to take bootcamp or take the course. Every single student trades different account size. In group session, we're concentrating on S&P. In private mentoring, I concentrate on instrument of your choice. Most important part of the website, listen to graduates and what they trade as graduates from beginner to hedge fund trader trading in the course. Never hesitate to contact me, 925-257-4298. As again, what you're witnessing during most challenging bearish FOMC event. Once again, you witnessed power of Fibonacci and power of knowledge. How many points are you up depends on number of lots you trade. Here's the result from student. Lee up two and a half points. What is your points result? Right now, trader who understands the danger of reversal zone, adjusting his trail very, very close. Trader who is trading more than 10 lot sizes still in this trade. Pablo is out with 1.75 points on three lots. Jernard is out with five points. How many points you are up depends on how many lots you trade. If you've taken target one, target two, or target three, if you trailed carefully. Once again, I warned you, short into Fibonacci support were not an option. Once again, I warned you, Fibonacci will override any news event. As you will need to see next, this is last obstacle that left on S&P, last resistance. That's been a problem since Monday, just like on Euro. Remember that this level is out, S&P will go drastically higher. But when price reaches reversal zone on your day trading one minute chart, never ignore this level. This is not the place to buy. This is a place to exit the position. Agree? So again, price reminding you right now, once again, when reversal zone is present, it's not the place to buy. What would be a good news for an eligible trader if price would collapse completely again? And remind you, knowledge is power, especially in day trading. So ladies and gentlemen, I thank you so, so much for your time. It's been my joy and pleasure being here with you. Please remember, every single thing you witness here is completely proprietary. Every single thing you witness here applies to any instrument, any time frame, any platform. And now is the best time of the year to sign up for the course as bootcamp always favorite event of the year, especially if you are a new student. So I highly encourage you to in review all the information under learn. And after you do so, pretty please do not hesitate to contact me. 925-257-4298 or info at fibinstitute.com as S&P reversing as expecting from reversal zone. Thank you traders. Trading room will reopen tomorrow morning.